welcome back to Sweets and Beyond. My name is Ida and today is not going to be a cooking video. Today I decided to do a frequently asked questions video or an FAQ video. I usually get sort of the same questions so I decided I'm going to, see I wrote them all down, um, I'm going to answer them so this way if you have a question you can come to this video. Okay, I'm going to go um, through food related questions. Do I rinse the rice when I cook? I don't know why, but I only rinse when I cook white rice. I will rinse the rice. If I'm doing uh, another type of rice, un arroz guisado, which is, you know, rice and beans, I don't rinse them. I don't know why. When I do, oh, what type of rice do I use? I usually buy store brand rice, long grain rice. If I'm in Walmart, I'll buy Walmart bread. If I'm in Winn-Dixie, Publix, it doesn't matter. I just buy store bread. I don't go by name brand. Why don't I use tomato sauce in my rice dishes? I just don't like the metallic taste of the tomato sauce in the rice. And in my opinion, it makes the rice too mushy. And I don't even think you need um, tomato sauce in the rice. This is a very popular question. Do I disinfect or sanitize meats? No, I do not. I do not take um, gallons of vinegar and disinfect meat with it. That used to be like an old wives tale or that used to be before when you used to get food or meat from a butcher or from just your neighbor long, long time ago that you needed to disinfect. Right now, USDA standards you don't have to disinfect with lemon juice or vinegar. I do rinse with water, cold water, and pat dry, but I do not rinse red meat. MSG. There's a big question about why do I use MSG. MSG is not bad. Some people are sensi sensitive to it, but in small amounts, I think it's okay. Um, the sazon and I think the ham seasoning have um, MSG, but I also have my own versions of adobo and sazon. Big question, substitutions for oil, for flour. If I do a recipe and I say cake flour, it has to be cake flour because if you use regular flour, it won't work. Some substitutions, yes, my preference is canola oil. But if you have vegetable oil, of course you can use it. Corn oil, yes. Um, vegetarian options. I mean, you know what you can eat and cannot eat. If I make um, like the Puerto Rican style mac and cheese, if you don't eat ham and I put ham in it and you eat turkey, then you can put turkey in it. If you don't eat any um, meats, then just leave it out. You know what you can eat. Why didn't the recipe work? This is a big one. If you follow my instructions, when I do a video, all the ingredients that you see is what I use. I film it in real time. So what I do is I say, I present all the ingredients, I take them to my stove, and I cook them. I do not add or take away. So if you use those ingredients, then the recipe will work. I measure out everything, so it's, if it says half a cup, it's half a cup measured. How do I pick the recipes? It depends. Some people may ask me for recipes, but it's usually what I want to cook. A pasteles video. I'm still trying to bring you the best video I can from my perspective of a pasteles video. It is very involved. And hopefully soon, I will get you a pasteles video. Do you cook like this every day? Of course not. I don't. I mean, the relleno de papa video, that was the last time I made them. I usually don't cook like this. And when, like when I do empanadas or empanadillas that I fry, and some people ask, oh, can you bake them? Can you do this? I'm watching. This is supposed to be a treat, a Puerto Rican treat. You don't have that every day, so splurge a little, you know? Okay, let me see. What are the questions? 
I'm married. I've been married this May. It's going to be 18 years. And I have a 16-year-old daughter. My nails. A lot of questions about my nails. I don't know. They just grow. I mean, I don't do anything to them other than cut them every week. They're mine. Um... English and Spanish videos. I started doing English version and Spanish version. People still complain, but you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to do both videos. Instead of a longer bilingual one, I'm dividing them to English only and Spanish only. I'm thinking of redoing some of my old videos, although I know that's how I started, but I look at them and I really would like to redo some of those videos. So let me know if you would like to see an updated version of some of my videos. Um, why don't I list the ingredients anymore? I don't list them because I've had some issues with people just taking my recipes and using, using them for something else. And those are my recipes, so I decided I'm not going to put them anymore. I would, I do when it's a little bit more involved I will post them. A cookbook. People have been asking me, why don't you do a cookbook? A cookbook takes time and especially a lot of money. You need a publisher, you need an editor, you need a photographer. There is a lot to do with a cookbook. I'm considering doing an e-cookbook, like something that you can download. Um, so let me know your thoughts down below. Comment if you would like an e-cookbook from me. I do have a website. It's sweetsandbeyond.net. I'm still working on it. It's only me and I'm not too um, website savvy. So I'm trying my best on that. Um, other channels. They have. I know there's plenty other Hispanic channels. But you know. They do their thing, I do mine. What pots do I use? I have a couple of Imusa Calderos and I recently bought some green pan um, cookware. What do I do about negative comments and negative posts? What can I do before I used to get so upset? Like, oh my goodness, I can't believe they said that to me. No? Okay. That's your your opinion. I just delete and block. That's all I can do. Um, when I say my version, that means Puerto Rico, even though Puerto Rico is tiny, there is so many versions. Like <laughs> up north, they call an empanada a pastelillo. We call them in the south, we call them empanadillas. Ficha, which is a nickel. In the south of Puerto Rico, we call it ficha. In the north, they call it bellón. It's that's why I say it's my version of things. So, if you have noticed lately, I don't know if you've noticed, but my hands are kind of like all scratched up. I have a story about that. Let me introduce to you who is causing all this. Here she is. Her name is Luna. See, look, Luna, your first time on camera. She's, a, she's so sleepy. My husband rescued her. He found her. I mean, trust me, she's like this right now because she's sleepy, not because of anything else. I have the scars, battle scars to prove it. But she is a sweetheart. My husband rescued her. He found her in the middle of the road. And... She was too tiny. She was only four weeks old when he found her. And they told us that if she didn't weigh a pound, if we would take her to the Humane Society, they would kill her. And please, of course not. So, here you go. This is our new baby, which... Luna. See? <laughs> there you go. She's a sweetheart, but, you know, we just have to wait until she gets out of her biting everything kitten stage so i hope you like this q and a i'm sorry this faq so let me know all your questions and comments down below i will answer them and please let me know if you would be interested in an e-cookbook 
Okay, so even though we didn't cook, Luna says, buen provecho.